ClickUp Task and Views. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use ClickUp and what are tasks and views. So let's get started. The link for ClickUp is given in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out right now. So once you sign into your ClickUp, this is where you will get. Now on ClickUp, we can first of all select any of the project and work from here. So I'm going to select this project right here. And now I will be able to create different tasks. Tasks are the building block of ClickUp and are the most important part because this is where we create different tasks and we can manage it. So let's go ahead and create a new task. We can do that with this plus button right here, or you can select a list and status and then select new task. And the quickest way to do so is selecting this task button here. So I'm going to go with this one right here. And now we can give our task a name. So let's go ahead and call it test task click enter and a new task will be created now we can open it up and with a task we can do a lot on ClickUp. so the first thing we do is assign it to someone and i can assign it to myself or any other team member so let's go ahead and assign it then we can set a priority we can go with urgent high normal low or clear so i'm gonna set it on high priority then we have the tag option so we can add different tags to our tasks here and it helps us organize and customize our task so we have already created different tags if you want to create new you just enter whatever tag you want to create let's go with editing there you go click enter and a new tag will be created similarly we can select from different previous tags such as important and new now we have dependencies so if you want to select a dependency for your task where you can create a task and then add a dependent task on it you can do that as well and then this task will be initiated when another task is done similarly we can do blocking and linked tasks as well we can also go ahead and set a due date so to set a due date, you select this calendar right here and it will allow you to select a due date. Let's go ahead and select this date. And then we can also add a time if we like. 5 p.m. Close. And your due date will be added. We can also track time with ClickUp if we like. And you just set the timer and start it. And your time starts tracking. Then stop it. This way, you will be able to use your ClickUp as a time tracker. Similarly, I can add description for a task right here. And then we can also add different commands if we like. With slash, you can go ahead and add columns, checklist, dividers, bullet points and others. Let's go with a checklist. And now I can create a checklist for this task, such as script so i have created this checklist as well and now i can check one of the tasks when it's done similarly we can create a subtask to a task as well and we can again set tags and due dates for a subtask too so for now i'm just going to call it test and click on save so now our task has a subtask Let's actually go ahead and assign it to a team member. Then we have attachments. I can go ahead and attach a file or a document to my ClickUp task. For example, we can add a picture that will be the card for our task. Click on upload file and select the file from your computer or you can get it from your drive or Dropbox. We can attach any kind of file, so I have attached a picture. And now we can close our task. And you can see my brand new task is created right here. ClickUp Views. When it comes to ClickUp, we get a lot of different views and we will be able to actually customize our workspace the way we like. The default view on ClickUp is a list view. And this is the list view right here. 
You will be able to find all of the views right here at the top of your screen. We also have a board view, which is also known as a Kanban view. And this is how a board view works. We can also move a task from one status to another in any of the view with a single drag and drop. We also get a calendar view on ClickUp. Calendar view will customize and organize our task according to our due dates. And we get our own calendar within our ClickUp. And we can create a task right here within this calendar. Then we also have a Gantt view. And this is how you will be able to check your Gantt view and you can select from week or day and select a list from here. Then we have a timeline view. In timeline view, we get our time right here and these are different tasks and unscheduled tasks that we need to add to our ClickUp. So this way you will be able to organize your ClickUp more in a timeline view and get a view of your timeline and different statuses according to time. Then we have a mind map. So if you prefer your workspace visually and if you want to create folders and list and tags, then you can also use a mind map and you can start creating your tasks right now. Then there is a table view available as well. In table view, we get our different tasks and we get also the emails and then we have statuses, due date and priority. This is going to be a table view. Then we can add more views if we like with this view add view button. And in here we have views such as workload, activity, map. So ClickUp has more than 10 views available for us to help us customize our workspace the way we like. So whatever view you prefer, you can just choose it and then start working and create tasks here to get more productive and save your time. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help. And now you know how to use ClickUp task and how to check views. The link for ClickUp is given in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out right now. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, turn on bell notification, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel.